The Philippines is a wondrous place where there is beauty to behold wherever you look. White sands, majestic buildings, delicious cuisine, pretty girls, and oh, flying crocodiles, and dirty water. I'm Kyla the Explorer, and this is my buddy TikTok. We're here today in St. Paul College, Pasig, to discover new ways to clean water. Let's go! Um, I'm pretty sure that this is the right one. Woo! We're in the laboratory now. What do we do? We're making bokashi balls. Uh, how do we even make bokashi balls? You will need emmas, fermented bokashi, fish powder, brown sugar, salt, and calcimite powder. This is the soil. Put two to four tablespoons of emmas to mold the clay. First, you smash it real hard. Smash, smash, smash. Mold the clay to form a bowl. Place one tablespoon of fermented bokashi. Little people, little people, little people, little people. Now we add the sustenance of this little little people. The fish powder and the brown sugar. Yummy entrees, even yummier dessert for our little microorganisms. Place one tablespoon of fish powder and brown sugar. Yummy, yummy! And then you add one more tablespoon of emmas before mashing them all together. Mash, 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 mash. Keep mashing the ball until it becomes uniform and the texture is smooth. And then, close it tightly for anaerobic respiration to occur. <gasps> Amaze balls! Store the box in a cool, dry place away from direct sunlight. And you're done! So this is how it will look like after two weeks of fermentation. I can see fuzzy white fungus around it. Isn't that cool? Now, we will be witnessing the throwing of the balls. Similar to any ball game, we will be commemorating new hope for the future by cleaning dirty water, cleaned of solids, and removed of water lilies. Let's go! Why do we need bokashi balls? Now, bokashi balls are not only good for cleaning, they're good for composting as well. They help in remediating polluted water and revive water sources for aquatic life. They bring about organisms that nourish the soil and create ideal conditions for plant growth. Within a couple of weeks, the bokashi ball 
will be able to remove harmful chemical contaminants in the water and clear it. It also dispels odor and produces nutrients for future marine animals by biodegrading organic matter. This will then enhance biodiversity for marine animals. However, one must remember that throwing bokashi balls in the water is not enough. One needs commitment Ooh, big word. and discipline to continue treating the water so that it may not again become polluted. So that one day, every body of water can be our own private swimming pool! Whee! This is Kyle the Explorer, signing off.